Hi guys, as I said, again, we've had a lot of armour come in from Mini Art, so let's have another look at some more stuff. What I'm going to do is go through the uh, larger scale stuff, uh, larger kits. This is all 35th scale again, all from Mini Art. This is the tow truck. Uh, again, I, I've got to tell you, uh, the truck guys, this is 35th scale. I've got nothing in 24th, but if you're looking to do some smaller scale stuff or whatever, these are really, really nice. This is the 35th scale tow truck, uh, Type AA. It's, um, I believe it's German. Yeah, World War II military. So, um, nice little unit in the old fashioned style of cab, things like that. So if you're looking to do something like that, uh, what else we got? To go with it, you could probably add the L1500S truck if you wanted to uh, have them side by side. This is the civilian version of it, so it's got civilian markings in it. Um, the one of the Deutsche Post, I believe. Um, so this one's quite nice. It's got uh, six choices of markings in it. Again, if you know their, uh, their vehicles, you know it's gonna be quite good. Um, not much more I can tell you about that. That's pretty cool. Now, they've been going into tractors lately. So this is the German tractor DB506, 1937. Um, two color schemes in it, but basically you can do what you like with it. it the tractors were all over the place. Um, for armor models and everything else, it's handy to have one if you're doing you know, a scene or you're towing something, because they were used for towing all sorts of bits and pieces around, not just um, farm carts and stuff. But um, if you're a tractor collector, then this is a really nice kit. It goes together well. The review I read of it is quite nice. Um, it's, uh, as I said, you can have a lot of fun with it. You can rust it up. You can have it sitting in a field. You can do what you like with it. So again, 35th scale though. Second one of that series is a more modern one. This is the DB8532. I think it's, actually, I think this is still World War II. So this is another one. Uh, four colour schemes again. Uh, looks like most of them are LANZ, L-A-N-Z. So um, again, if you're a tractor collector or you just want to have that little kit side, somewhere buried in the, in the diorama somewhere, quite a nice kit again. From, this is the British military lorry type B. Uh, this, uh, you can build this with a cover or without the cover. Um, again, 35th scale, it's the older style, pre-World War II, uh, just into World War II. Uh, it's quite nice, nicely done. Sorry, it's not pre-World War II, it's World War I, post-World War I. Um, so this is um, a great kit. This, the, this series has been going really, really well. They've done uh, all sorts of things, and they've done a civilian version of it as well, which is down the back. Um, so if you're a civilian truck modeler and you want to do one, then we do have it as well. So that's quite nice. Lots of detail. Oh, well, actually, there you go. I'd actually picked it up. So that's the civilian version of this is the coal truck uh, of the B-Type. Uh, they've got three schemes in it, including the coal, Henry Evans and William Wood and Co. on the side there. This is a nice kit. It's got, there's the markings, as you can see, lots of parts. Bit of etched metal in it by the look of it. Yeah, a little bit of etched metal. So um, if you've built any of this lorry series, it's quite good. If you want to do, if you're a uh, civilian truck modeler and you want to do th some 35th scale, these are these are excellent. So that's a couple, a couple more of the schemes. That's one of them. And there's another one there. And just the detail. The detail's just lovely. There's lots and lots in there. The cabin, the, the uh, chassis, the so you can have a bit of fun with that. Put it with your bus, if you've got the bus, because there is also a British bus, old bill type bus. So there's that. And this is the B-type Omnibus. Oh, what do you know? There you go. So that's the, um, the bus version of the, of the truck, the B-type Omnibus. So again, this is uh, very, very nice. Lots of detail. This has obviously got way more detail because there's a lot more in it, as you can tell by the amount of sprues, but this has got, uh, as I said, markings, bit of etched metal again. Big instruction book, which goes to town on all of it. Lots of detail, lots and lots of detail. And these are beautiful kits. Uh, the, the guys that I know of that have built some, so they just go together so well, very straightforward, and um, different color schemes there. 
that one, and that one, and that one. So, um, yeah, you can have a bit of fun with these. Um, so there's that. So for today, there you go. A um, bit of a rundown on some of the more, some more of the mini art kits that have come through. As I said, mini art's just going strength to strength. The, the stuff they've got planned. Um, the catalogue has got a lot of uh, t uh, top secret items in it. So their future for mini art looks really, really good. And um, it's good to be able to show a lot of their armour that's coming out. So there you go. So other than that, have a great day. Talk to you soon. See ya.